Hello and happy Monday. Today is Monday and it's Motivation Monday. BFIT Ambassador Roy Montez is here to give you a live at home workout. He's going to take you through some awesome movements and get you ready. So, Roy, you ready to get started with this? Hi, Leah. Yes, ma'am, I am. All right, BFIT Nation, welcome back to another Motivation Monday, another BFIT Live, another way to start your week off strong, heading into a great holiday week. I know um, things can keep, be busy this week, but it's important to make time for yourself and to set aside just a little under 30 minutes for yourself for today, for our BFIT Live, to focus on your mind, on your body, and uh, to really push forward and focus on strengthening our movements as we go week by week. So if you're new to the channel, welcome to our Monday, our live workout. Our program timing for today will be strength interval training, uh, 40 seconds of work and 20 seconds of rest. We will have four exercises and in between each round of four rounds, we will have one minute of rest in between each of those four rounds. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four exercises, and at four rounds, one minute rest in between each round. So I'll point out the, uh, and go through demos of the four exercises that we have for today. And then we will go into some dynamic stretching to get our, our minds and our bodies primed and ready to go. And then we will lead into our workout. So our first exercise for today, we have a goblet squat, a uh, exercise two. We are targeting our shoulders for a front raise and a lateral raise. Okay, exercise three is gonna be a alternating staggered stance Romanian deadlift. So we are targeting our hamstrings and our glutes. Okay, so our hamstrings and our glutes should feel the primary, primarily should feel the work for that movement. And exercise four, again, we like to finish with some core movements and core activity, engaging our core. So we will go into a moving plank, which will be a high to low plank. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll be transitioning from a high plank down to a low plank, down to a high plank. So today I thought I'd give you a few variations of what you can expect if you scale up or scale down. So for the goblet squat on our first exercise, our movement is here. If you have any resistance, go ahead and grab a dumbbell, go ahead and grab anything with the handle, Maybe it's a gallon of water like I have here. If you have a dumbbell or any plates accessible to you, go ahead and grab those now. For exercise number one, if we are going to scale up, we are going to grab that dumbbell or any type of resistance by the head or by the, by the base. We will stand shoulder width apart, dropping that butt back and you are going to pass uh, to your comfort level or pass that knee line and drive up through those heels, okay? This is gonna be our motion here. Again, that weight should be close to your chest. <laughs> and that's gonna be the scaled up version. Now a scaled down version, if you are looking for a low impact option, let's go ahead and take a seat here. And again, this is primarily engaging our quads and our glutes here. But if you're looking for something a little less impact, go Take your leg out and just do leg raises, okay? We're gonna do alternating leg raises. But what I want you to do is try and hold a pulse at the top. So go ahead and pause at the top for one, maybe two counts, keeping that knee and leg nice and long, nice and straight, okay? You, you'll feel that activation in your quad, lifting up that leg, trying to hold it for a pause, one or two, and then right back down, okay? This is gonna be the scaled down version for exercise number one, again. And if you need something right in the middle of that, go ahead and grab that seat, feet shoulder width apart, and just work on standing, okay? That's going to be right in the middle from a scaled up and scaled down version, okay? Exercise number two, front lateral raises, okay? We've done these before. We can stand, we can kneel, or we can seat here. We are going to lateral raise any resistance up, shoulder height, nice and controlled back down, and... Again, lateral raise out to the side. Front raise up front. Arms nice and straight here, locking them out. And then laterally out to the side. Shoulder height here. Again, if you don't have any resistance here, 
and we can do either of these movements seated. Go ahead and make a nice strong fist here out to your side. Nice proud chest sit up nice and tall here. Squeeze those hands together with that front raise, which will target your anterior delt is the front of your shoulder. And then out to your lateral raise. Nice strong fist here. Again, if you do not have any resistance, go ahead and pause. One, two, down. Forward raise. One, two, down. Lateral raise. One, two. Getting that top portion of your shoulder here. Again, a lot of daily activities and daily movements that we do throughout the day, we utilize a lot of these functional movements here that we may not recognize, but if we take a little bit of time throughout the day to strengthen those muscle groups, then we will <laughs> prevent injury throughout the day. At least that's the goal here. Okay, alternating staggered stance Romanian deadlifts. A lot of name for that exercise in number three. <clears throat> We're gonna take any resistance that we have here. Again, I'm gonna go with dumbbells, scaled up version right here. Staggered stance, feet shoulder width apart here. We want that staggered stance. We wanna hinge at the hip. Our back is flat. We are dropping that weight down right at the knee. Keeping that back again, nice and flat. Head is in a neutral position. And we are firing back up top, engaging those glutes. 90% of your weight should be loaded up on that front foot. And that rear foot is just for a little bit of balance and a little bit of stability. Okay, you're gonna feel that burn, that isolation. Your hamstrings are gonna be firing, your glutes are gonna be firing, and we are gonna alternate. So alternating staggered stance, Romanian deadlifts again. So hamstrings and glutes are the primary focus here for this exercise. Now to scale that back, if we do have a chair available to us or a wall, you can go ahead and grab onto that chair, stand up nice and tall, nice and proud. And again, we're just going to pivot at that knee, hinge that knee up, engaging that hamstring, squeezing that glute, pause for two, three, down, okay? Left leg. And make sure you're, you're flexing that ankle, flexing that foot, dorsiflex, one, two, three, squeezing that hamstring, squeezing that glute, and right back down, okay, for that 40 seconds of work there. Alternate left and right leg. And that's gonna be the scaled down version for exercise three. And moving into the plank for exercise four, <clears throat> we'll make some room here. We are gonna be on the floor here, I know. Plank variations here. So <clears throat> we're gonna start up in a high plank position here. All right, and we are gonna drop down to our elbows and then right back up to a high plank position, making sure that our hand, our elbow, and our shoulder are all in line for the most support here. We wanna make sure that our back is nice and flat, relatively straight line from our neck all the way down to our ankles here. Okay, nice and stable. Try to keep those hips square and drop down into that low plank position and high plank. Now scale down version, if you have a mat, if you have uh, anything that you can uh, get onto the floor with, go ahead and drop down to those knees, hold that high plank position here for the duration of the time. So 40 seconds of work, you're gonna hold this plank for 40 seconds here, okay? Again, idea, the idea is to engage our core to keep our core nice and tight, nice and engaged, all right? Uh, activating those glutes as well but gaining strength in our core for stability for everyday movements here. So those are the four workouts for today, a goblet squat, a front raise and a lateral raise combo, an alternating staggered stance deadlift and a high to low plank, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and grab some water, grab a towel, and we will jump into some dynamic stretches to get our body, our body ready to work. And then we'll jump into our workout here. So with that, all right, let's get dynamic here with some dynamic stretching here. Let's go ahead and reach for that right leg right behind you here, extending that right leg back and your left arm, your left arm is gonna go nice and tall above your head here, okay? We're gonna be in each of these exercises, these dynamic stretches for about 30 seconds. So move at your own pace. 
All right, really feel out your body here. Feel out if there are any tight areas that you need to focus on, if it's your hips, if it's your quads, your shoulders. All right, let's get our bodies ready to move here. <clears throat> One more for me, hips are a little tight. Go ahead and push those hips forward. If they are tight like mine, stretching those arms out nice and tall. All right, let's go into some fixed feet alternating lunges here, okay? Nothing too aggressive here. We're just looking to feel that stretch within the inside of our legs, getting some blood flow to our lower extremities here. We're just gonna lunge here, back and forth. Nice and easy. Feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Again, we have some lower body work coming up, so we need to prime our bodies here. Three, two, one. All right, let's go up to a reverse lunge with a reach up to the top of your mat here. You're extending with that right leg all the way back here, dropping down into a lunge. Hands coming together overhead and stretching out to the side here. All right, you should feel that stretch in your hips. Feel some strength movements over here in your quad, your glutes firing. Again, with that overhead stretch, stretch, you'll feel that in your lats, in your back, in your shoulders. So that's the idea here. Three more, three more reps here should get us to time. I don't know about y'all, I'm feeling a little tight. All right, time to get the body moving here. <laughs> okay, since we do have some plank work, let's go ahead and come to the back of the mat here for walkouts, okay? We're gonna walk down, so stretch nice and comfortably down to your toes. Walk slowly, walk out to the top of your mat if you were on one, high plank position, pause, and back, touching your toes, extending all the way back to the top of the mat here. All right, walkouts. We'll perform about nice and controlled, nice and smooth. You can feel your full body working here. Nice stretch in your hamstrings here, in your calves. Last rep here up to that high plank position and back up top. Now we do have some shoulder movements here. So let's go into some circles, arm circles here. Nice and easy, medium sized circles forward. Take a nice strong stance. Nice. Three, two, one, let's go into reverse. Reverse shoulder circles. You can feel that blood moving to your shoulders. They are warming up as fast or as slow as your comfort allows you to here. Good, good, good. Now let's just warm up a little bit more of our back here with some YTWs. We're gonna stand shoulder width of height here, shoulder width apart on our feet. You're gonna reach up into that wide position with our hands nice and tall. Back to center here. T, squeezing those shoulder blades back to center. And a big W here. Good, good, good. You should feel this in your mid to upper back, your shoulders, squeezing those glutes together. T, then back into that big W. Good, good, one more, one more here, Y. Nice, stretching those shoulders. Nice long pause to the T. Rear delts are on fire in the W. Good, good, good. All right, team, let's go. We are ready to work. I'm gonna towel off here. I'm gonna grab some water, start the timer, and we'll get ready to jump into that first goblet squat or seated raise. All right, dear. 
All right, I hope everyone's having a good start to their week. And with that, let me know where you're watching from. Are you inside? Are you outdoors? Are you able to test out your cold weather gear with this cooler climate that we have? Let me know where you're watching from. Let me know if any of these exercises are your favorites or if they're a little challenging for you. Let's go ahead and work on scaling them down. Again, any exercise, whether it's two, whether it's a simplified version or not, any exercise can be challenging over a period of time. So again, we're just working for 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. So that's our goal for today. Four rounds, four exercises in 10, we will jump into that goblet squat. Again, if you have a chair in three, two, one, let's work here. 40 seconds of work here. If you are on the scale down version, nice seated stance. Activating our quads here for 23 more seconds. If you have resistance that you are av have available to you, you're here. 15 more seconds of work here. Keeping that chest nice and proud. Dropping those hips to your comfort level for five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, first exercise is in the books there. We are moving on to our front and lateral raises. Again, if you do not have any weight, go ahead and make that fist. Front raise, lateral raise in five more seconds. I have a few plates here I'm gonna grab in three, two, one. Okay. Let's keep that chest nice and proud. The weight should be hitting just that shoulder width height. It's just that shoulder height here. And let's alternate from our front raise to our lateral raise. Taking a knee here <clears throat> will allow you to not sway as much if you're standing. 15 more seconds here. If you can give me a pause, one, two, down. 10 more seconds. Two, down, good. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, 20 seconds of rest here. We'll move into exercise three with the alternating staggered stance Romanian deadlifts. Again, <clears throat> if we are coming off of a chair, we are just hinging at that knee, isolating that hamstring. Three more seconds here, grabbing the weight. My right leg is forward. My left leg is just a few inches back and that shoulder width, we are gonna alternate. Hinging at the hips, soft bend at the knees, driving through that heel and alternating from left leg to right leg. About 90% of your weight should be up on that front foot. And you'll feel that stretch in the hamstring. Nice isolation in your hamstring, your quad. 10 more seconds of work here. Keeping that back flat, that head in a neutral position. Three more seconds, two, one. Good, good, good. Now, when I say head neutral, that means do not look down, do not look up. You wanna have that straight line here between your neck and your back. Moving plank here, high plank to low plank. Let's bring this down in five, four, three, all right, let's work here. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. Hands underneath our shoulders for the best stability here. Again, we're here for 25 more seconds. If we need to come down to our knees, let's go ahead and try that. 20 more seconds here. All right, and if we need to hold a high plank, squeezing that core tight, Let's do that, 10 more seconds. Let's keep working. Again, let's make sure those hands come underneath our shoulders for three more seconds. Two, one, and time. Awesome work. Awesome work, BFIT Nation. First round is in the books. First round, we learn it. Second round, we own it. Third round, we challenge it. So we have 44 more seconds of rest here. Grab some water, towel off. One round down, three more to go here. 
How are we feeling? How are we doing? 30 more seconds left. <clears throat> All right, remember 20 more seconds here. Goblet squat is gonna be on deck here for our first exercise. And again, our primary focus is gonna be our quads. So if we need to leg raise here for a low impact movement, let's stay here. Three, two, one. All right, team, we're working here. 40 seconds of work here. Again, feet are gonna be shoulder width apart here. Dropping those hips back, down, just at our knee line, extending all the way up. Power should be transferring from the floor through those heels, up through your legs and squeezing at the top of those hips. 15 more seconds, keeping that back flat. Head, again, should be looking out at the horizon. Eight more seconds of work here. Keep it up. Three, two, one. <clears throat> All right. Awesome work, awesome work. Come into the seated position here for a front raise and lateral raise. I'm gonna stick with the plates here. Again, pick a weight that's comfortable yet challenging to you. I'm gonna sit up nice and tall here, bringing those shoulders up, bringing those arms up to shoulder level, nice and controlled. Back down to our starting position. Nice proud chest. Give me a pause at the top if you don't have a lot of resistance. One, two, nice and slow back down. One, two, good. 15 more seconds of work here. You wanna speed up the tempo. Let's work, five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, we're resting here. 20 seconds of rest here. And we are back into our Romanian deadlifts with the staggered stance. Again, scaled down version here. Go ahead and give me that nice tall stance, bending at the knees, engaging that hamstring. In two, one. All right, let's work here. If you're standing, let's go ahead and make that nice proud chest. If you need support from a wall, let's go ahead and hold that. We're just focusing on pivoting, hinging at the knee here, squeezing that hamstring and glute activation. Give me a pause for two seconds. One, two, nice controlled, nice and slow back down. One, two, good work, good work. 13 more seconds here. 10 more seconds, again, back flat. 90% of your weight should be loaded up on that front foot if you're in the staggered stance, Romanian deadlift and rest. Good job, good job team. All right, 12 more seconds here. We are on the deck here for our moving plank. Five more seconds to go. Three, two, high plank position. All right, we're dropping down to our elbows. Left leg, left arm is supporting all the way up here. Go ahead and alternate. If you're coming up with your left hand, Let's go ahead and move up with our right hand. Keeping those hips nice and square. Let's try not to dip. All right, nice flat back, engaging that core. If we're on our knees here, let's go ahead and hold it. 12 more seconds, nine more seconds. Hands are underneath your shoulders for the best ability. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, 40 seconds of work is in the books there. Two rounds are done. How are we doing? How are we feeling? Good job, team. Good job. Keep it up. It's a nice, strong start to our Monday. <clears throat> we have a lot of isolating movements here for today. Not so much of a cardio intensive uh, movements or session, but each one of these exercises if challenged and holding those muscle groups together, they will increase your heart rate and definitely feel like you're doing some sort of cardio-based workout. 
So 15 more seconds left and we're jumping into round three. This is your chance round three, if you can scale up in weight to your comfort level, let's go ahead and do that. All right, three more seconds, grab the weight, grab the chair, let's work here. Nice, strong, powerful movement, driving that energy again through those heels. Elbow should be tucked in, your back is flat. Don't let me see you come here, because <laughs> I will see. 15 more seconds of work here. Nice. Quads should be the dominant moving here, driving up through those glutes, squeezing at the top. Five more seconds of work. Four, three, two, one, and time. 40 seconds of work there. 20 seconds of rest coming up. And we are jumping into our alternating between front and lateral raises here. Eight more seconds here. All right, if you're standing here or seated, we're still gonna put in the work here. Front raise to lateral raise, here we go. Front, nice and controlled. Again, we're focusing on our shoulders. Shoulders, strengthening our shoulder. Strength and mobility here. Front raise into our lateral raises. Good, good work. Keep it up. 15 more seconds left. Let's focus on nice and controlled movements. Quality reps over quantity. Five more seconds left. Three, two, one. Good work. Good work, team. If it gets tough, remember to smile. <laughs> remember to smile. The weights get lighter. I don't think it's proven, but for me, the weights get lighter. All right, staggered stance, Romanian deadlifts in two, one, left leg forward, right leg back. Hinging at the hips, soft bend at the knees. 90% of that weight is gonna be loaded up on that front foot. Alternate, left leg back, right leg forward. Again, remember that head in that neutral position. Your head and spine should be making a relatively straight line. 15 more seconds of work, just coming parallel. Your weight should be just below your knees or to your comfort level. Keeping that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Protect that lower back. Three, two, one. 20 more seconds of rest here. Again, remember if we're on that Romanian deadlift, our target is our hamstring. Let's grab that chair. Five more seconds here. We are jumping into that high plank, high moving plank. So low to high here. Two, all right, let's work. 40 seconds of work here. Round three, best round yet. I know it is. Keep that core tight and engaged. Using a little bit of muscle strength to power ourselves up to that high plank. 19 more seconds. Keep it tight. Hold that high plank. Hold that low plank. Scale down from your knees. Nine more seconds, six, five, remember to smile. Three, two, one, awesome job. Good work team. That's the way to push through, way to work. <laughs> Three rounds are done. Three rounds in the books with one round left. Our best round is yet to come. I know it, I know it, how are we doing? We have 35 more seconds of rest here. Catch your breath, towel off, stay hydrated. Let me know where you're watching from, guys. I know I've seen throughout these workouts, y'all have been calling out where you're from and it's nice to see, nice to see the teamwork, nice to see the community that this BFIT Live has produced. We're all in this together. Each week, week by week, we can get through it here. Goblet squats on deck. In five more seconds, grab that weight. Four, three, two, one. And we're working, guys. 
Again, driving up through those heels, nice flat back. Hips are dipping to your comfort level or just at that knee line, powering up, driving through those heels, standing nice and tall, squeezing those glutes at the top. 20 more seconds of work here. We need to scale down here. Nice, perfect time to grab that chair and work on our form here. Nice, strong stance. Nice and controlled. Again, power driving through those heels. Three more seconds. Two, one, time. Awesome work. All right, shoulder action coming up. 10 more seconds here. Five more seconds, front raise and lateral raise combo in three, two, one. Nice, nice strong stance. Feet are shoulder width apart. Squeezing those glutes to protect your lower back. Nice tall chest. Again, your head should be looking straight up at the horizon. 21 more seconds. Nice shoulder isolation movement here. 15 more seconds. Keep that core tight. 10, nine. Good work, good work. Keep it up. We need to alternate. Let's do it. Three more seconds. Two, one, and time. Good job, good job. Move this out. Romanian deadlifts with that staggered stance coming up in five more seconds. Three, two, one. All right, team, we're working here. 40 seconds here. Take that staggered stance. Load up on that front foot. Your, that rear foot should be just about six or seven inches from that front. Nice compact movement here. Hinging at the hips. Pushing that butt back. Lowering to your comfort. 20 more seconds here. Good, good, good. If we are on that chair movement, go ahead and pause. Two and back down. Up. One, two, down. Nice proud chest. Hinging at the knee and the knee alone here. Three, two, one. Squeeze and time. Awesome work, guys. Awesome work. All right. 10 more seconds, we are into a plank variation here. We'll drop this down. Last round, best round, last set, best set. Let's jump in. All right, we're working team. Keep that core nice and tight, nice and engaged. Let's try not to sway. Not to dip those hips here. Again, hands are underneath our shoulders. Extending up top to that high plank position. Alternating arms. Driving those heels back can help engage your glutes. Good, good, good. 13 more seconds. You can hold that high plank, hold that high plank. Eight more seconds here. We need to scale down, drop to our knees. Five more seconds of work. Three, two, keep holding. One, and a bonus second. Awesome work. <laughs> good job, team, good job. I love it. I love it. Again, this one was a this one was a tough one. It didn't seem like not as much high intensity. There was a lot of low Im impact variations that we were able to do. And again, with any of these movements throughout the previous weeks, there are options to scale down. If if we're jumping too much, if we're moving too much, let's pinpoint where what muscle group we are working in. Let's find an alternative. If you need an alternative, I can be happy to suggest an alternative. Drop a note in the comments, let me know, and I will be happy to help. I'll be happy to share any additional movements. If you uh, are looking for an extensive catalog, if you're looking for exercises to add to your, your current workout regimen, go ahead and visit our, our Facebook page here, right here. And every workout has been different from the past six or seven months now. Wow, we've been, we've been here for that long. So again, BFIT Nation, <laughs> as I towel off here.
great work. It's great to see all of your progress. Again, we're one big community here. Be fit live. Let me know. Uh, have, a, have a strong week. Let's go into this week nice and strong. Again, happy holidays. Have a good, safe week. And um, great way to start your Monday here, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Again, next week, it'll be on a Monday. Uh, we will be pushing it back an hour to 12 o'clock Central Standard Time. So noon Central Standard Time. Um, I hope to see you back again. Let me know if there are any exercises that you'd like to see, and I'd be happy to feature them here on this channel. All right, be ready, be resilient, guys, and please stay safe, stay strong, and stay fit. All right, signing out here.